Hello everyone. I hope you are doing good and staying safe. Welcome to another interesting tutorial on SQL expressions by Simply Code. In this tutorial, we'll understand what SQL expressions are and how they actually work. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. So without any further delay, let's get started with today's topic. Firstly, let us discuss the agenda for today's session. We'll start this tutorial by understanding what SQL expressions are. Then we'll go through different types of SQL expressions. And finally, we'll look at the syntax of various SQL expressions and execute them in MySQL Workbench with examples. So what are SQL expressions? SQL expressions are composed of one or more keywords or values such as operators, operands and various other functions that evaluate to a single value or a set of values for a given SQL statement. These SQL expressions are like a formula, which are similar to that of mathematical formulas we use to solve a problem. And in this case, they are written in a query language using a proper syntax to perform operations on the data we have stored in our database table. For example, consider the basic syntax of the select statement. Here, expressions are used in many contexts, such as to retrieve any value from the table, we use select command. And for comparison, we use where clause. So in this case, all these are SQL expressions only. Types of SQL expressions. SQL expressions can be classified into following categories. The first one is Boolean expression. SQL Boolean expressions fetch data based on one-to-one -one matching. In other words, we can think of it as a query that fetches one result at a time. It will fetch the condition against uh, the single value when the query is executed. The second one is numeric expression. SQL numeric expression is used for performing mathematical operations in SQL query. Besides arithmetic operations, there are several built-in functions like average, sum, count as well. Date expression. SQL date expressions are used to compare and get date according to its various date and time related query and conditions. They give date time value as the output. It can also return current system date and time values also. Now that we have understood what exactly SQL expressions are, let's execute them in MySQL Workbench with the help of examples. As you can see, SQL Workbench has started and before we get to the execution part of various SQL expressions, we have to first create a table. So for that, I've already created a table named student within the database simply code. The student uh, table consists of various columns such as role number, name of the student, age, the city they belong to, date of birth, the stream that they have chosen and the total marks that they have scored in the final exam. And here the primary key is roll number which basically uniquely identifies each and every record of the students in the table. So now that we have created the table, if we want to retrieve the information of all the students, we'll use select command. So the following query would be select star from the table name that is student and semicolon. Let us execute this. And as you can see, all the records of the students are being displayed. That is the name, their age, the city they belong to, the stream, and also the total marks that they have scored in the final exam. Now that we have created table and inserted values into the table, let us understand various SQL expressions. Firstly, let us discuss about Boolean expression. For that, we'll take a simple example from the table itself. Suppose, let's say you want to display the uh, records of those students from the student table who belong to the city Kochi. For that, we'll write the SQL query as select star from the table name that is student where city equals to Kochi. Now let us execute this statement and see the output. So as you can see, there's a student named Divya whose age is 21 who belongs to the city Kochi. Similarly, you can uh, find for other cities as well. So let us take for Pune and execute this query. So the output would be uh, it will show the records of two students uh, named Aman and Indra who is having age 22 and 25 who belong to the city Pune. 
and having uh, streams is triple and MBA and the total marks is 922 and 972. So the Boolean expression not only executes the values against the character values, which is in this case is Pune, but it can also take the values of numerical values as well. For example, let's say uh, the university has got to know the highest marks scored by an individual in the final exam is 988 and it wants to uh, retrieve the details of that student. So for that, the following query would be select star from table name that is student where total marks is equals to 988. Let us execute this query now. So as you can see, a student named Pratik who belongs to the stream CSE has scored the highest marks uh, 988. So in this way, Boolean expressions are used to perform various operations which basically evaluates a given condition uh, to a particular value or you can say a single value. And if the condition is true, it will return the output and display all those records, otherwise it won't. Up next, we have numeric expression, numeric expressions. So numeric expressions are basically used to perform various mathematical operations. So let us understand this with an example. For instance, let's say the university has decided to change the total marks weightage from 1000 to 500. And I'll specify a condition where I'll take the total marks and divide them into half and check all those students who have scored more than 480 out of 500. For that, the following query would be select star from the table that is student where total marks divided by 2 is greater than 480. Put a semicolon and let us execute this. So as you can see, there are total four students who have uh, scored more than 480 when, when the total marks are divided into half. For instance, if you take uh, the record of Rohan who has scored total marks 977 and if you divided it by 2, that is approximately 488.5, which is satisfying the condition which that is greater than 480. And if you look at this SQL statement carefully, there are a lot of SQL expressions here. Firstly, the student table name that is the student itself because uh, it is used to uh, retrieve the values from the columns that is uh, here the total marks is the column and we also have the operands that is total marks divided by 2 and the right hand operand that is 480 which can also be considered as an SQL expression here. Similarly we have other inbuilt functions as we discussed earlier like sum, average, count, minimum and maximum. Let's say if you want to calculate the average of total marks of each and every student scored in the final exam, the following query would be select average, which is the SQL function, and within the parenthesis, mention total marks total marks from the table that is M student. Let us execute this. As you can see, it is displaying the total average of total marks that is 954.375. Similarly, you can calculate uh, the sum of all the marks of the students as well. So the query would be select sum total marks total marks from the student table. Let us execute this. And this will be the following output. So there is a bit error in the code. Let me check it once. So as you can see, it is displaying the sum of total marks that is 7635. So in this way, you can use numeric expressions to perform various operations on the SQL tables. And finally, we have date 
expression which basically returns date and time values of the table say let's say if you want to uh, display the records of those students who are born after 1995 january so for that the following query would be select star from the table name that is student where date of birth is greater than 1995 january 1st so let us execute this query and see the output as you can see there are total uh, five records of the students who are born after january 1995 similarly you can also display the uh, current date and time as well using the uh, current timestamp function that is select current timestamp current timestamp and let us execute this query so as you can see it will uh, display the current year uh, the date and the month format similarly it is also displaying the uh, uh, time which is in the format of hours minutes and seconds so in this way you can use various expressions to query the database for a specific set of data to retrieve the information from the sql tables with that we have come to the end of today's session thank you for watching the video i hope you guys found this tutorial useful and informative and if you did make sure to leave us a like if you have any further questions regarding any of the topics covered in the tutorial feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team will be more than happy to resolve all your queries until next time stay safe and keep coding